Hi, my name's Jonathan Mundy. I work for Ford Motor Company. I work in product planning in an area called product innovation. Well, I chose a career in the automotive industry really because I had a big interest in cars. From just growing up, when I was younger, I used to design my own, you know, my own range of cars when I was about 12 years old. And doing engineering seemed like the natural thing to do. I've been at Ford nearly 10 years and I started off working in engine engineering, which is really interesting. I've had some varied jobs. I've done a fair bit of travelling, I've been to the US, I've visited suppliers all over Europe. That really was a good foundation for me, learning how a big company like Ford really works. My strengths really lied in the, in the liaison with design, marketing, the idea generation, the more creative side. And the role I'm in now is something that I'd always wanted to do and uh, I transitioned into that role 18 months ago and I haven't looked back, I'm really happy. It's really interesting. Product innovation means kind of translating consumer insights into exciting product features that the customers love and value. So it means learning about the customer and then turning that into something they really enjoy and cherish in their car every day. Well, the passion I have for my role at the moment is that the fact that you're creating real features that are in the inside of the car that the customers touch every day. You can get something that really makes a difference to the life of a busy mum or someone in advanced years getting in and out. If you've worked on something like that, you've researched it, you've done all the feasibility and it's, and it's come to life and you've seen it go into production, that's so satisfying. What I find interesting about the automotive industry is that it's quite a dynamic environment. You know, you're, you're contributing to something real, something you're going to see on the roads in five years time um, everything you do kind of goes into a real product. I think the tips I'd give to a young, a young graduate engineer is that you need to try and get some experience. I know that's easy to say but uh, it really opened doors for me when I was looking for you know my first job. I'd certainly recommend doing a, a kind of summer placement somewhere or even if it's just for 10 weeks during the summer months and you'll gain some real experience, the stuff that you don't always see and learn you know, in the classroom. I think the skills that are essential in today's industry is that you need to have a kind of probably a global outlook. Being aware of different cultures is very important. But also it's not just the deep engineering, it's being able to apply that um, into the kind of problem solving, working in teams, uh, the design work, that's all good stuff that you know you will use every day as opposed to fluid mechanics even though I loved it. What I studied at university has really helped me get get me where I am now. I've got to be honest I struggled with doing maths and things like that with an engineering degree. I was better at the kind of more project based like more creative type design roles. It's plain for everyone to see kind of the advances in a lot of technology that are in the cars um, I think you'd be surprised if someone asked you 15 years ago if a car could reverse itself into a parking space. Um, but I think as we go forward, there's going to be more advances in, in the technology. And I think there's also going to be a return to the simple things done well that people really appreciate.